Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aldridge and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my cramming secrets for maths and give you an exact strategy that you can follow for your maths revision. It's come to my attention that some of you will be sitting your autumn A level exams and I wanna help you out. For some backstory, I raised my U in maths to an A if you've not watched my previous videos, but despite the changes to the spec, I still believe that my tips and my secrets and this revision strategy and approach will be of use to you. But before I start the video, I just want to start with a quick disclaimer. Cramming maths isn't just like cramming English or geography where you can just remember a block of text, dump it in the paper and you can still get a decent grade. I can't guarantee that everyone watching this video will, you know, have a decent understanding of maths, nor can I promise you that you'll get decent grades. And to make this clear, I wasn't getting U grades throughout the whole year, did last minute revision and got an A. No, I worked all year round and that was the ideal situation, but we don't have that much time left. And even if you've left revision two to three weeks uh, late, right? There's still some hope for you because there is a huge difference between like understanding the topic and passing the exam. What I'm trying to say is don't blame me if you end up doing shite in the exam because you know I'm just a dude trying to help you out and this is what worked for me and if it helps you then that's what matters. The purpose of maths revision is to train yourself to be able to answer exam level difficulty questions in your core maths, your mechanics, your stats, or everything in the paper basically. And to get to that exam level standard, there, from my experience, there are five steps that you need to take. I hope that this unorthodox way of maths revision helps you in your own revision because this is what I did to run up to my exams and yo, it worked for me. Step one, do the 2019 paper in exam conditions. It doesn't matter how confident you currently are in your maths revision, just do the paper in exam conditions because the point of it is you want to identify where your weaknesses are. That's gonna be a clear indication to which topics you're gonna to be cramming first. As a general rule, you wanna ask yourself, if the exam was tomorrow, which topic would I dread seeing the most? If you said binomial expansion, then you should be cramming binomial expansion first. And if it was integration, then integration and yada. You get, you get the point. If you sat the 2019 paper and you end up getting a D or you end up getting lower grades than that, then please don't be discouraged or disheartened because this is where you start. Everyone starts somewhere. Once you've done the paper, remark it yourself and write the work solutions, but make sure when you're writing the solutions, you're actually you actually understand what's going on step by step by step you understand how stuff is factorized how stuff are cancelled out how stuff is just from step one to step two and all the way down to solutions step two is all about finding your weaknesses from the 2019 paper and then going online watching online walkthroughs and tutorials to make sure you increase your understanding of your weakest topics. For example, back in the day, my weakest topic was integration. So what I would do after answering a past paper question is that I'll go on exam solutions, binge watch his series on integration and make the necessary notes. That way I'm fully working on my weaknesses and this is how you cram maths. You wanna constantly be working on your weaknesses and using your online resources to, to learn that content as fast as possible. If you already made notes throughout the year, then I suggest you use those notes instead so you don't have to rewrite those notes again and you'll spend more time doing the maths. Some of you might think that making notes is pointless in maths because your maths is applied, but how are you supposed to apply the maths when you don't even know the maths, right? Like how are you supposed to ask somebody to shoot a basketball when they have no idea what the correct form is? Or how are you supposed to ask somebody to kick a football when, the fo when there's no football, right? It In maths revision terms, you can't answer exam style questions if you don't even know the basics, if you don't even know how to do the question like in the first place or if you have no idea what the topic is about then you're absolutely screwed. I wasn't one of those naturally smart people in A-level. I was the, one of those people who had to put in the work to get to the same level as those people. And for me, I made notes and these notes really helped me gain confidence in the topic. So then when it came to doing the paper again, 
it, it just I'd feel more familiar with what it's asking me and I actually understand what the question is asking me to do. Step three, reread the work solutions from the 2019 paper you did the day before. This step you're probably into day three or day four of your cramming session. And it's super important that you get this space repetition step in. If you've not heard of space repetition, it just basically means not forgetting the stuff you just learned. In psychology, there's a thing called the forgetting curve. And it basically states that if I learn something in day one, by day two, I would have forgotten 80 to 90% of the stuff that I just learned. It, it's just natural and you've probably felt this before. That's when in day two, you want to revise the content you did on, in day one. So it retains in your brain for longer and you'll realize that you won't forget it as much. And by day seven is when you'll need to recap that content again. That's one of the secrets to retaining long-term information and cramming maths and actually remembering what you've crammed, right? Do this as frequently as possible so you're familiar with the silly errors that you make. Oh my God, silly errors is gonna be, the, was the bane of my life for maths. I, I'd, I'd accidentally, times something by five rather than add it by five you know i'd factorize or i'd cancel in stupid places you need to be able to remember these types of mistakes so you don't repeat them in the real thing step four repeat steps one to three but with the 2018 paper at this point you've done the 2019 paper You've, worked, you've done the work solutions and you understand step by steps how to get to the solutions, right? You've made notes on your weakest topics to your strongest topics and you've revisited those notes throughout that period of time. Now you want to do the 2018 paper and to test your new understanding of maths. You should be feeling slightly more confident doing the 2018 paper and remember you want to do this in exam conditions because that's when your brain is more active and that's you know you want to mimic the real thing as much as possible. If you somehow didn't see a slight improvement or you might have seen a slight decline don't give up. This is just a sign for you to work harder, okay? Try your best and not break down. I know it's easier said than done, but breaking down won't help you put in the work and put in the hours that you need to actually work hard for maths. And cramming maths is not like cramming English. You need to put in that extra hard effort. Step five, go back to step one and do the 2019 paper again you should at this point have more experience and more confidence looking at the paper and think yo i know how to do this back when i did my a levels i did all the exam papers from ed excel from 2007 to 2017 at least three times throughout the whole year and this is probably the key to my success that should put things into perspective on the amount of mistakes that I've made throughout the year I put in the reps I put in the time and effort and energy to recognize exam technique and I mastered this just in time for the exam and this is what you need to prioritize exam technique and the only way to master exam technique is to do past papers again and again and again. As I said, I was never that naturally smart person in school. I was never in set one. So for me to reach my goals and to reach the same potential as those people, I had to develop a strong work ethic. And if I can develop that strong work ethic, you can as well. Like, you can't get any worse than a U in maths, right? Just to summarize the approach for you, step one, do the 2019 paper and mark it and understand the solutions. Step two, make a list of your weakest to strongest topics in accordance to that paper and make notes accordingly. Step three, reread the notes you made on the 2019 paper and revisit the notes from step two. Step four is to repeat steps one to three, but with the 2018 paper. And step five is to repeat steps one to four, meaning do the 2019 paper and the 2018 paper again. Actually, you're not really cramming maths. You're kind of just learning maths like, like as fast as possible so that you can have the sufficient knowledge to pass the exam. And that's it for this week. All the best with your revision and I do hope you smash those autumn exams, okay? All right, safe.